Ashlyn, what do we have here? What is this? Um, well, when I found out that I was doing the show with you, I wanted to make you an outfit, and it's inspired by my New York Fashion Week collection. Uh-huh. Um, and this is a little thank you gift for you. Oh, thank you! <laughs> so this is, how do I wear this? So you put it around, yeah. So On my it. shoulders? Yeah. Okay, like oh, yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couture, <laughs> high fashion. <laughs> now, what started you designing clothes, darling? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I started when I was six years old. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, when I really like in got introduced to sewing um, was when I was in preschool, and they taught me to do like little hand sewing things, and. Um, you know, I fell in love with that, so I decided when I was six years old, I wanted to do that again. So uh -huh. I begged my mom to go to a sewing class, and when she said yes, I just fell in love with fashion. Really? Yeah. Wow. So you made this for me? Yeah. By hand? Yeah. And the sewing machine? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm talking about now. Now, you've been in New York's Fashion Week three times. Yeah. As a designer. Yeah. How did you pull that off? Um, so my first fashion show was actually in Texas, um, and that was for a anti-bullying campaign. Um, so that after a year later, um, when I was nine, I was in, I was invited to go to New York Fashion Week. Uh huh. And yeah, I've been to New York Fashion Week three times since, and yeah, it's just been an amazing experience. Like that's so awesome. <laughs> that's so awesome. Now, tell us the message behind your most recent collection. Um, so my most recent collection was Beneath the Surface. So it was about, you know, looking beyond the skin color and looking at, you know, what's deep within, inside the heart. Um, so, like, for example, like, the cage pants that I'm wearing. Which I love. Yeah. I love. Um, <laughs> amazing. Girl, I want to wear this on stage. Can you make this in my size? Yeah. It's grown up. My size is grown up. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did the pants represent? Um, so it's kind of like, so it's like a cage, so it's kind of like looking through, and it's kind of also symbolizing, like, you know, looking beyond the skin and color and looking at what's inside. And right. Yeah. And in the, in, the, in the bodice, the top, what does that represent? So this is like a lot of like, um, so basically throughout the whole collection, there's like a lot of repeating objects, like mm -hmm. these wires, or um, and then like some of them have like these plastic balls. They're kind of representing how it just kind of, um, Came, started, you know, this whole movement was inspired, you know, this whole collection, sorry, was inspired by the Stop Asian Hate movement. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was about, you know, starting from, it started from a small group and turned into this, you know, huge movement. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to symbol, sorry, symbolize that with this. And you're a part of that movement, right? Yeah. Like, you're, like, what's amazing to me is that you are a designer and you are a full blown activist, <laughs> right? And so tell us about what you're activizing. They active. <laughs> Tell us about your cause. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I, I love, you know, I've always loved helping people. Um, but, you know, I used to be super shy, so I just never knew, you know, how to help people because I just couldn't say anything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when the Black Lives Matter movement started, that was, like, the first time I had ever been, you know, face-to-face -face with these issues and, like, ever seen them in, li in my life. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I've seen them in history books, but I just never you know, never seen it. And so that was, like, just, like, a huge... It just made a huge impact on me, you know, mm -hmm. seeing that. Like, and then I started, you know, doing research, you know, reading books about, you know, these things. And it's just, like, it's so scary. And it's just... It's just... Yeah. Honey, like, I've been on this planet 40-some yeah. of my years, and it's hella scary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you find the positive and the good, and you stand up for what's right, and that's what makes you amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Now, you are so amazing that I went ahead and did something special for you. I have a surprise for you. Come with me. Come with me. This way. This way, darling. This way. Yes. Please. Please. Watch your step. Now, you sit in that chair over there. Okay. I'll sit here. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, I'm going to have a fashion show. I'm having a fashion show for you, darling. Please, bring out the models. This is for you. Oh. I designed all of this myself. This right here, I designed this jacket. Mm -hmm. It's from the Tiffany Haddish collection. Yes. Yes. Tiffany Haddish designed this outfit for the Ellen. Okay. I designed that for you. It's very uh, flowy and keeps you protected from the weather. Here's the next design, darling. Now, this comes all the way from my house. It protects your head when you're out in the elements. I'm all about protection and keeping it flowing. 
So I'm gonna call it the Gilligan hat. <laughs> this next outfit, I designed from head to toe. Yes, I did. Yes. It's I a tie-dye <laughs> jumpsuit, if you may. Yes, sweat pants and sweatshirt <laughs> that Tiffany had is designed. <laughs> for you at the Ellen Show. What? <laughs> what do you think? I love it. You love it? Yeah. I did it all for you. <laughs> yes, guys, how do you feel in it? How do you feel? The flow of it is nice, right? <laughs> we'll be back. 